All right, so today we're taking a look at the Panasonic UT670 IP phone. This is their latest IP uh, desk terminal that is actually running Android. It's a full screen, uh, a full touch screen uh, user interface, seven inches, and um, I'm going to take you through a few of the uh, menu options as well as what a basic call would look like and just navigating through this phone. So uh, as you can see, this is just the, the main home screen menu uh, on the device. Within each menu, you'll, you can pull up a sub-menu just with a touch key. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a few how that works with uh, other uh, apps. Let's, let's go with the phone. Within the phone, you can check your contacts, call logs, and use the touch screen to place a call. I'll actually show you what the speakerphone sounds like uh, just with an automated message. The person at extension and you can five, lower the volume, the raise the volume, the use these touch the buttons to transfer or when see done, who's on your other call line. I'll go ahead and end that call. Um, but as well as back to the main menu, I'm sorry, I'm home screen, uh, you can just pull across and see a bunch of other uh, applications or widgets, mind you, that you might use on this phone. There, there is a, a network camera application where you can utilize uh, or monitor IP cameras. We currently don't have any set up right now, but I think you can monitor up to 16 different IP cameras. And that also can be utilized in the, um, the applications that can be developed for this device. Um, now, I want to take you through what the inputs and outputs of this phone are. On the side here, you'll actually see that there is a, an SD card slot right here. Um, and above there is a USB 2.0 jack. Now on the back side you can see where you have, uh, if you do want to power the phone with a power block, that is an option. The phones do not ship with a power block. So in this model does have the PC loop through. Uh, only one model of Panasonic terminal, the uh, 113, this one right here, does not have the PC loop through. Uh, on this side, you have your uh, headphone connections with your electronic hook switch auxiliary port. Um, and beyond that, all other functions of the phone are through the uh, touchscreen menu. Uh, and of course, the browser works really, really well. Uh, obviously, our homepage is ABP Tech. I would uh, recommend checking that out to look at these Panasonic peripherals and a bunch of the other IP devices we have. But um, just back to the phone, there is a, a host of menu options and a couple of tips on this device. You can configure it with uh, a web interface, but you do need to turn that on first in the device. Uh, so there are um, some intricacies that you do have to get familiar with with this Panasonic phone. Uh, but still, probably the best touchscreen interface, the most responsive that I've um, ever had to work on. And there is a custom uh, API or open API for developers to create custom apps for this phone. Um, I would say that it can be anything from hotel rooms to order room service or maybe uh, schedule a wake-up call or even rental car companies to uh, check your flight status while you're waiting on uh, returning a car or uh, maybe placing online food orders or something like that with a food vendor. Uh, so there are lim limitless uh, opportunities with this device and uh, it really is a sleek executive level phone just with uh, SIP offering so you can register it to any SIP PBX as well as it's certified for Broadsoft and Asterisk so um, a lot of options right there. So just given with the complete lineup of Panasonic phones from the uh, 113, 123, 133 as we see here, and the 136, you have a, a nice offering for uh, a really good brand name that people know and trust. So thank you guys for checking this out, and uh, we'll have some more information on this device plus others and new things to come from Panasonic.